Hi, I'm Kat and this is today's Tarot. I know it's been a while since I made a video for you guys. I had some people reach out to me and ask me if I was doing all right. I actually had a bout of COVID. I did get through it with the help of some natural allies and some Tylenol because I had a lot of body aches. And so I've just been recalibrating since then and uh, attending some fairs to do readings after I felt better and gearing up to build some orbs for some festivals that I have coming up. So I've been fairly busy and I apologize that I haven't been making these videos, but at the request of many people who have reached out to me to let me know that they missed me making them, alas, here I am. I hope you all are doing well with this full moon energy that we have going on right now and, you know, not being too hard on yourselves. And with that said, I'll go ahead and jump into the cards of the day. The opening card that we have today is one of the most beneficial cards in the entire Tarot deck. It is the Six of Cups. So this is a feeling of some kind of emotional wish come true. Like something that we've always dreamed of having or we've been longing for for a really long time seems to have a landed in our lap and manifested and we started the day with this feeling of satisfaction around this hopefulness that we've had in this new connection that we've either, either had or a manifestation of some great wish that we've held inside of our hearts so it is a very beneficial card that we open up the day with although the challenge for the day had to come in right the challenge for the day is the three of swords if you look at the Three of Swords, you can see three swords piercing through a heart and there is what looks like a rainstorm happening around it. This is where we let our mind kind of take control of our emotional well-being. We're kind of letting our thoughts run away with us and give us some kind of sense of worry. There's some concern that comes up likely in light of this emotional wish that came true. Maybe we're uh, in a state of disbelief that it actually happened or that it's happening. And so we have this energy of letting our mind run away with us. And it's literally kind of beating up our heart because the mind can go in so many different directions and just by the sake of life, we're often conditioned to look for things that are out of place or question things if they seem to go right, because, you know, how can things be going right? And the mind will do that, but it's, it's important to remember that the heart is more sure and it's more uh, grounded. So consider that this is a three of, of swords, so it is a passing storm. You have to be careful with not letting your mind run away with that sweet, tender peace that, you know, your heart has finally been able to satiate itself with. The overall energy that we have for today is the Four of Cups. So we have a lot of cups happening, a lot of energy around matters of the heart or matters around situations that mean a lot to us. And having the Four of Cups is us contemplating whether or not this is something that we actually want. You can see that there's three cups sitting on the ground, which is some sort of happiness, some elated experience. And there is one cup kind of coming in out of nowhere. So there's likely some new opportunity or something new that's coming into the situation that we didn't know of in the beginning of the day. So this is the, you know, the overall energy of the day is that we're contemplating emotional matters. We're contemplating if this piece that we thought would always satisfy us is actually going to meet us where we actually need our needs met. Now, the the way we're going to get through the challenge, we, no surprise to me anyway, the card that we have showing up is the High Priestess card. This is a major arcana card, that, and the reason why I say it's no surprise to me is because we had a full moon last night, and we have the sun is in Virgo and the moon is in Pisces, so they're in, you know, the position of being 180 degrees from each other, which allows us to see the reflection of the sun on the moon, and it's in essence in opposition so we're able to see more we're able to have more revealed to us and this card is ruled by the moon or governed by the moon and so it's letting us know that there's something that's going to be revealed today in the situation that you know felt so great and elated for our heart there's some truth that's going to be revealed by the end of the day now consider that full moons bring things that are unseen to our attention 
if you go outside and it's a full moon, for instance, if you live a place that there's not a lot of light pollution, you can go outside tonight and see that your whole landscape is lit up and you can actually find your way by the light of the moon. And it does that on a, in our seas and our oceans as well. It brings the greatest swells and the deepest falls of our tides, which allows us to see that which is underneath the surface and see that which is hidden. And so in this way, you can see that the person is just waiting. They're sitting and waiting for information to come to them. And so in that way, if there is something that you feel that you need to know or questions that you are kind of waiting to find out, the message of this card is in waiting. This person that's sitting in the card isn't in a place of action. She's sitting down. She's sitting between two pillars that are black and white in a place of balance and witnessing what information is going to be brought to her. So consider that whatever it is that you are in place of question about in this place of worry, it will be resolved by the end of the day. And it's not going to be because you have to go out and search out this information. The information will actually come to you. And it is likely of emotional nature because this woman that's sitting in this card has her dress made by all of the waters that drip through the entire tarot system. So she is the keeper of these secrets and the secrets will be coming to you being that you are the person in this card. So with that said, I just want to expand on things a little bit because of the energies of the sun and the moon and where those are at right now. Now the sun is sitting in a sign of Virgo, which has a very high attention to detail. It can sometimes be overly critical or overly analytical around a situation because it's seeing all the details so deeply that it can sometimes miss the whole, like the bigger picture of things. And so in a lot of ways, Virgo energy is this energy of being hypercritical because we're analyzing things and we're, you know, assimilating information and distilling things from the coarse to the finer so that we can actually see things as they truly are. Now that sun, which is in Virgo, is in opposition to the moon, which is in Pisces. And Pisces is the dreamer. And you know, having these two energies in opposition means that, you know, we can sometimes look into things and see things that could not necessarily be true because we are just looking at the negative side of things. And that way we can be overly critical towards something actually quite beautiful that's come into our life. It also could be saying that, you know, within that energy, it's making us question this situation that's come into our life because we're just not sure if it's actually true or not, if it's actually um, got the depth that we felt initially that there was in it. Now consider that things are revealed today and it's blessed and supported by what's going on with this sun moon energy that we're all exposed to. Now, if you have your natal chart and you know where Virgo sits in your natal chart and where Pisces sits, which they're gonna be on opposite sides of wherever in that chart they sit, wherever those signs are, are going to be telling of the areas that this is standing up the most for you. If you have any questions about that, as far as what your natal chart looks like or what's going on by way of astrological transits and how that's affecting you right now, you can feel free to reach out to me and I am scheduling readings now. Again, I can either do them in person or over Zoom or over the telephone, whichever you prefer. I can also pre-record readings for you if you just want to look at your astrological transits, if that's more convenient for you based on the busyness of your schedule and whether or not you're able to sync up with me. I'm also going to be offering more readings at different festivals and different places around town if you live in the Front Range area. I'm also currently uh, living up in Paonia and we are gonna be having a festival this weekend where I'll be selling some of my orbs and also sharing some information as in regard to astrology transits and things of that nature. So if you'd like to schedule some time with me, feel free to reach out and we will do that and find a way to sync up. 
Now, aside from that, I hope you are doing well and I hope you aren't being too hard on yourself or too overly critical on yourself and instead are perhaps taking some time to take care of some practical matters and see that which you need to tend to in your life. And that way we can use this energy to our own benefit rather than to our own mental demise because it is really important to consider that what we think about we do have to wear by way of our emotional body because it's like we're telling the story to ourself and so where do you put your attention and are you putting it you know turning the, the glare towards yourself or are you turning it towards that which you need to practically take care of i would suggest that if you do find yourself in this place of worry today that you take your attention off of that and trust that things that need to be revealed will be revealed in time and instead put your attention on practical matters much like virgo is also associated with i hope you all are doing well and treating yourself well and taking care of yourself i will see you again soon bye for now Mwah.